Hi, this is Attila from Hyper Organic again, and uh, uh, let's talk about uh, the new features of the object uh, particle interaction. So let's just create a plane, okay. and uh, the the tab doesn't show up until we create another an, uh, an emitter. So let's create a square. The square is way too small, so let's scale it up. In and then lift it up, and uh, you will see if you pick the object that the particle fluid interaction is updated. So now we have these checker icons right next to the the properties. This means that we can load texture in these. So we're gonna uh, look at something that's quite obvious: is the particle friction. Uh, first, let's do a really basic simulation. I'm going to rotate this guy and I'll make the square a little bit smaller and move it this way. Let's make it more smaller. So the particle is supposed to slide down. To slide down, we're going to need a gravity. So let's create a gravity force and let's create a K volume. K volume fit to scene. It's always a little bit bigger, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, this is the K volume. Uh, I'm gonna make the screen space a little bit bigger. We can turn these off. We're not gonna. We won't use the scripting. All right. Uh, so like this, turn the particles to some kind of blue and uh, uh, save the scene. I already named it, I called it object textures. Okay, and uh, I don't need this much, let's just use 0.5 resolution and the sim. So now we will see that as the particles are falling down they will slide down on the surface actually um, let's make this smaller and the resolution lower to 0.2 and scale this a little bit more one is top view uh, shortcut for top view four is the shortcut for uh, perspective view okay Let's sim it, it's way faster. The particles are just sliding down and uh, they are just going with the same speed, they slide down with the same speed. Okay, so if you look at it, it just slides, they just slide down with the same speed. Now I'm gonna demonstrate it with the friction because that's pretty obvious. Um, I'm gonna right click here on the particle friction. Uh, uh, text and uh, say uh, load texture. Uh, then there is an input field. We can browse to the file. I'm gonna browse to Smiley. Okay, this is the image I painted in Photoshop. Uh, you can load a uh, texture sequence also. Uh, then you can uh, you can control the play the frame per sec and the frame offset and you can use it as loop and uh, so let's use the smiley I only have one frame so it doesn't matter um, it shows the texture right away and I want to put up the friction to like let's say 0.5 and I want faster simulation so I'm going to turn the collision normal to outward and you can see outward Okay, the way you test outward and inward, then you go down and you say uh, display and uh, show normals and yes. So then you see these little red lines, we can make them longer, normal size, you can put up like two. So now you see that the normals are pointing this way, um, it's the normal of the faces. and. Uh, that's how you know it's outward. If you switch to inward, then the collision side is on the other side of the plane. It's going to be here. 
but uh, okay let's turn the normals off again and uh, outward is fine the rest is fine let's uh, the purple uh, field means that there's a texture input let's save this reset and let's simulate if you pick the particles you're going to see that uh, they will start behaving differently so wherever there is black fields the no actually there, wherever there is white fields the friction is going to be uh, 0.5 whenever it's black uh, the friction is going to be zero and everywhere in between is uh, the all the gray area is uh, a, a transition area so now you will see that the particles are going way slower now if you go to the um, if you select the object 